tell you, my mouth is starting to water. I'm getting ready to eat. It's been a long time since I had sushi. Two hours later. I stopped giving us sheets. So, but I guess maybe that means we got cut off. Some people have loved the beard, some people have hated the beard, but uh, as I said all along, it wasn't sustainable, and ultimately, it's time to go. But before I do that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark VPN, a virtual private network, is a way that helps anonymize your data. Not only keeping me safe on the internet, but help keeping you safe. And let's face it, you're on the internet now more than ever, and guess who else is on the internet now more than ever? Hackers, that's right, and they are hungry for your data. And that is why choosing a VPN like Surfshark VPN can help protect you from those online predators. What it offers you is not only the ability to change geographical restrictions so you can watch different shows like Netflix, whether it be Fantastic Beasts, Marvel, access different Disney Plus movies all over the world. It can help you to access restricted data in your country. Of course, it's unlimited devices, which is really cool. Even better, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Use my code JOELH. You can see the link and code on screen. JOELH, you can use that for 85% off. Also, three months free. I really like Surfshark. It's allowed me to really access the full power of the internet, and definitely it can do the same for you. So be sure to check out Surfshark VPN, and ultimately, let's get to the rest of the video. This is our logic. See something on the menu, don't know what it is? I will order 20. <laughs> I think that's a safe number. A minimum. Yeah, a minimum 20. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at a place called Zen Sushi in Edmonton, Alberta. So here we are taking on their all you can eat. Um, so we were here at lunchtime and they offered a pretty good variety I will say. So of course uh, in Western Canada restaurants are just opening again. Um, so it was really nice to have the option to be able to do an all you can eat which in all you can eat is allowed in this style, whereas buffets where they're self-serve are not currently allowed. Um, but in this style, all you can eat, where it's all you can eat to order, where they bring you out the items, um, they are you're able to do that. And so it was very, very nice to hop on in there, get some good food, and of course get some sushi, some all you can eat sushi, which everybody has been asking for for so long. I think the sushi videos are some of my most popular, People really enjoy them. I very much enjoy them. So I'm very glad that we are were able to come on in and do this. Um, so it's pretty funny. So you saw them just take a picture of us there. Let me give you a little bit of background and history on that while I finish up my little green salads. So the way this started is, you know, they bring you the orders. They say, you know, explain how you do the sheets. It was an order form uh, style, all you can eat here. And you know, of course, we accept it and everything. And after we put in our first order, which we were being pretty moderate with, um, probably between the two of us was, let's say, a maximum of 100 pieces. Eh, maybe 80 between 100, 80 and 100 pieces. The the individual came back over and was like, um, "I this is a lot of food, guys. Are you like confident you'll be able to eat it? Because you'll have to pay if there is any extra." And we're like, "Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, we're good." Um, so it was actually pretty funny. So even with what just we had on the table, which wasn't even our whole order of the 100-ish pieces, and again, that's only our first order, they're like, can we take a picture? Because like that's a lot of food. I was like, yeah, for sure. Um, so anyway, now let's get to the actual food. So the maki rolls in front of me on the left, those are a barbecue eel roll. On the right is a soft shell crab roll. I'll get to those momentarily. There we had some tuna sushis. I also had some uh, avocado sushis, which you saw me digging in there, as, long, uh, well, as well with some salmon sushis, um, which were really, really good. Um, so the way I often approach an all-you-can-eat like this is I'll order, you know, let's say 20 of an item or 10 of an item and try it. And if I like it, I'll stick to it, a.k.a. I'll order it again and again and again because I have been to many, many sushi places, all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants, and I find generally they have... A couple items which are you know they stand out from the rest some are mediocre some are less than satisfactory and for that reason if something's good generally I like to stick to it 
Um, so you see me eating some of the crab sushis there. And what I usually do is I take, you know, whether it be a crab sushi or a fish sushi, but I take the uh, fish sushi and then I take an avocado sushi and I mix them in my mouth. So it's essentially like, you know, you're getting, let's say the s avocado and the tuna or the avocado and the salmon that you might get mixed in a maki roll but I find I'm getting a nicer portion of it, uh, essentially in my mouth, not to make that sound weird. Here's trying this uh, soft shell crab roll. It was good. Um, I like soft shell crab rolls generally. I've been a few places where I'm like, wow, this is exceptional. I've been a few places where they're mediocre and you know less than, um, but these are pretty solid. Um, they had a really nice kind of sauce on them and just kind of that richness of that deep fried kind of added the flavor. Here we had the uh, spicy, tuna and salmon maki rolls this is the way they presented them so it was a seaweed or nori on the outside and then you had the fish on the inside of the rice which is uh which is i i actually for some reason prefer the rice on the outside um, but regardless of that i found their tuna uh, spicy s salmon and tuna maki to have a very interesting spicy flavor. Most places use a spicy mayonnaise of some sort, kind of which appears to be drizzled on top of the uh, soft shell crab maki. However, I found that this was almost more like a sriracha spice, um, which we have some sriracha appearing later on. So I have a feeling that's kind of how they made their uh, spicy salmon and tuna makis by mixing it with sriracha or some kind of a similar sauce like that rather than a spicy creamy mayonnaise style of spice. Here we have some of their hand rolls which all had a really nice uh, presentation. Scott is a very big hand roll person. I have never really been that much of a hand roll person. Again, in all reality, I have a feeling it's partially because of the uh, seaweed on the outside. I just, uh, to be honest, if you want the backstory, one time I made a whole bunch of sushi at home, and for some reason, and no, I actually didn't even use raw fish. I made literally like, again, this is just me eating casually. Let's just say I made like six pounds of rice sushi, tuna, and sriracha sauce kind of style sushi. And for some reason, I don't know again if it was the food or whatever, but I got sick from it. So ever since that, um, sriracha was a little iffy for me for quite a while. I can eat it now okay. And the nori again, or like the seaweed, that flavor again was also a little iffy for me for a while. But again, I'm good with it for the most part. But I find if it's on the outside of the sushi, I taste a little stronger. Um, especially with the uh, hand rolls there, as there's more of it. Um, however, again, like I said, Scott loves them. We had a good variety there. You saw not only the spicy uh, salmon hand rolls, which we ordered multiples of. We had a spicy tuna. The one there with the sauce drizzled on top, which is sriracha, was a buffalo chicken uh, hand roll. They also had a Mexican hand roll, which was the one with the corn. And a whole bunch of very unique uh, flavors of sushi rolls, hand rolls. And which you're going to basically see continuing on. Uh, so really cool maki, some again some different sushis and uh, some interesting hand rolls. So cleaning up uh, again, do, uh, clean up the rest of the maki rolls there. Again, doing the mix of the avocado with the salmon, the fish. And here I did try one of the hand rolls. This was a spicy salmon hand roll. I had to try it. Like I said, it was good. Uh, everything to this point was good so far. I just like, again, the end there with a lot of the seaweed, a lot of the nori, just not my preference. Now these were just plain salmon maki here, uh, which I liked. There was nothing wrong with it. I really enjoyed the salmon. That was my preferred fish that I found here of the day, which generally it's either a tuna or a salmon. Um, I understand that, you know, there's always that white tuna, um, which is not actually tuna. It's like esca something, escalo, escalor or whatever. It's uh, kind of like a fattier macro kind of fish. Some people say it has been shown to cause indigestion. I've actually never experienced indigestion from it, though, I will say. But this, what they were using here today was legit tuna. 
It was not the white tuna, it was legit tuna, which is a big, big plus, as obviously tuna is more expensive. Now there is kind of the um, ahi, or uh, it's like albacore, or like it's the lighter colored tunas, which is what this was. And then there's the red tuna, which is definitely the more expensive one, often only available at dinner time menus at the vast majority of all you can eat sushi restaurants. Continuing, like I said, I, re I really enjoyed the salmon. It was my preferred fish of the day. So going with some lovely salmon sushis. And if you notice there on the right, in front of my soy sauce dish, I have my avocado sushi. Again, just doing kind of like I do, the mix of the salmon and the avocado in my mouth. For some reason, every time I say in my mouth, it sounds kind of weird, but uh, mixing those two sushis in there, just really, again, one of my favorite things. I take a bit of wasabi, I dip the fish, the sushi, purposely in the soy sauce, rice down so it absorbs a little bit more of it. I do very much enjoy um, salt on my palate, and then I throw in the old avocado there sometimes in this case I put two salmons in and one avocado but I love that flavor just that richness that umami that savoriness of the avocado the soya sauce and the tuna or sorry in this case the salmon the fish um, just love the flavors of it love that combination and that's why my favorite uh, in pieces when I come to a restaurant like this are the sushis the maki rolls and I also do like the sashimis as well um, but even when I'm doing sashimi I generally like to pair it with um, again like an avocado roll or something but not always but definitely as well versus again something like a hand roll which is more of Scott's uh, choice of preference there so staff are being really good um, they did advise us that you know kind of due to the social distancing measures there may be a slight delay in some of the items, I guess because they're operating with reduced staff, which was totally fine. Uh, we were there for lunch and we were fine to take our time. They had a couple fancy deep fried rolls like these ones right here, which we ordered. One was a bacon cheese um, kind of roll. The other one was called a Philadelphia cheese steak. And then the one was called a spicy, golden spicy. Um, so we ordered those all there. So this is a this is a golden roll, and it is the spicy golden roll. Ooh, hot, hot, yeah, hot. No, like temperature hot. No. So as I mentioned, pretty straightforward. That one was essentially just like a deep fried uh, maki, essentially. Um, which, I mean, you know, like we figured we'd give them a try. It was their specialty. Here we have the uh, bacon one next. Yeah. Bacon. Which, oddly enough, kind of tasted like a bacon cheeseburger. Or if you've ever had like a Hot Pocket or a Pizza Pocket that was the cheeseburger flavor, that's actually exactly what it tasted like. Philadelphia roll or Philadelphia cheesesteak. And this one surprisingly tasted like a cheesesteak in all reality. It was... Uh, I mean, it had like a flavored beef, so a beef with some kind of a sauce on it, and then it had a kind of like a cheese whiz in there, so like a cheese sauce, um, which I mean, like it was, you know, unique, and we only each got one piece each to give a try, and now we have some more of their interesting rolls. So on the right there, we have a buffalo chicken roll, in the middle we have what they call a fruit roll, and then on the left now, on the right, was just the, uh, you know, simple... Uh, basically salmon maki um, which I was enjoying so coming to these buffalo chicken uh, maki it was very unique uh, it wasn't what I was expecting I wouldn't actually classify it as a buffalo chicken myself but essentially what it had in it was like chicken fingers or chicken tenders like a deep fried chicken bit um, then you had the nori the seaweed the rice and then on top was like a ranch dressing and a sriracha, so kind of a creamy, spicy feel. Dude, this is really unique. Fruity roll. I think it's dried figs, avocado, sweet strawberry sauce, and strawberry on top. That's the craziest fruit roll I've ever had in my life. 
So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I'm a big fan of fruit rolls. I try them everywhere I go, and definitely they are something I regularly order. But I've never had a fruit roll like this. So this fruit roll, as I mentioned, it had dried figs, it had dried berries in there. There were um, a, a couple of them had like dried cranberries. I feel some of them had just some kind of other dried fruit that I'm not even sure what it was. So it kind of like they actually varied a little bit from when we started getting them to where we ended up but basically dried fruit i loved the ones with the figs on it that was my favorite with avocado with a uh, rice and sauce on top she jumped for joy because you didn't hand her the card yet <laughs> so yeah it was kind of funny like well let's yeah it was scott very clearly uh let's say he felt he observed kind of you know when we first started ordering to as we continually ordered and continually ordered maybe some the demeanors of some of the staff there um, changed a little bit I'll put it that way but the staff were very friendly um, no complaints as to this point and uh, you know at this point things were going really really well um, again just to kind of finish off my thought about the uh, fruit rolls there is you're gonna see them a lot um, again strawberry sauce on top dried fruit it was very interesting what I just showed you there was called their Bang Bang Sushi, which was scallop. Um, I like scallops generally. I found this one a little, eh, a little fishier tasting, uh, which can happen sometimes when you're eating the raw scallop, but I, this taste, I just had one and that was enough for me. We didn't order very many just in case. Uh, sticking with, again, my soft shell crab roll, which I ordered those a couple times. The uh, tuna, which I did order a few times. The salmon sushi of course which i ordered many many times and again with the good old avocado but what i'm eating right there is a tuna sushi again it was good um, and i love that mix with the um, avocado coming towards finishing up uh, the majority of the maki rolls we had on the table so we figured it'd be time to order again shortly scott was like joel you ate all the fruit rolls which i basically did not gonna lie but the really nice thing about uh, kind of going to an all-you-can-eat place like this is you can always just order more. You don't have to worry about eating all of everything if you're into sharing um, because you can always just order more. So very, very much enjoyed that. I will say how I operated these restaurants and how Scott generally does as well. So we did for the most part here um, was if we wanted to try something, we would order like one order or two orders or, you know, maybe 20 of them and we'd try them between the two of us. Now, if I wanted to order, I would order my own items and he would order his own items. So I'd be like, Scott, what do you want? Let's just say hypothetically he wanted 10 sushi. So I would take his 10 and encapsulate my, you know, 10 or whatever I want. And we would kind of, you know, order separately to preserve our own food that we did order with the exception of when we were basically trying things or the few times, you know, we wanted the the same item. We kind of had a rough idea how many of them we each wanted and went from there. Whereas again, Scott, for example, he probably had about 20 hand rolls or 25 hand rolls or maybe even 30 hand rolls this experience where I, you know, just kept ordering my favorites, which was the sushi. So I had countless um, salmon sushi, uh, countless avocado sushi, etc. Scott ordered a uh, little Korean um, beef there, uh, you know, or like you know, which are generally always available at kind of the, you know, Japanese all you can eat, sushi all you can eat. Sometimes they're pan Asian, they claim, uh, you know, and so I've ordered again some of those items as well. Besides the sushi, the only items that I actually ordered this visit um, were the a couple green salads I had at the beginning, just to kind of get a little bit of fiber. We had a very, uh, we'll say, busy week. It was a lot of eating. And often what we eat didn't have too much fiber in it, so had to get some for that old health, that good old bowel health, etc. Um, but so at this point, again, we are probably getting close to two hours in, at least an hour and a half in. Um, things, again, I you know, were actually coming out at a pretty reasonable pace. There were definitely some times we had great lulls, but overall pretty reasonable, especially as they kind of warned us that things would be a little slower. So if that's their definition of slow, I think things generally come out at a very, very good pace. Um, and again, everything so far, both the hospitality, the staff, and the taste of everything was good. There is no complaints. Um, and again, I've been to All You Can Eats, for example, where 
Some things are only okay, some things are mediocre, some things are great, but everything here was good or better. There was really nothing we had that was not good, good or better. So here we're having some more of the fruit rolls. In these ones, there was a little bit of um, a fresh piece of fruit. I, I want to say it was a pear. So it had like, I'm going to say a little bit of an Asian pear. Again, it had some figs, um, some of the dried berries, and a very, very sweet strawberry sauce on top, which I like. I'm a big sweet person, so I, this is like dessert for me. And that's kind of how we were treating them. I just, I love dessert. I love sweet items. So this was kind of a perfect finding on the menu. Again, I, I ordered a lot of these, to be honest. Um, I did notice, I think I accidentally forgot to uh, record part of one order or one whole order, which I'll mention when we get to it. But I ordered, I would say probably 70 of these fruit rolls alone, and I consume probably like 55 of the 70 or whatever, maybe even more. I really enjoyed these things, so I just kept ordering these. Um, and again, these were kind of the items that, you know, or an example of an item that was Scott. I was like, how many do you want? He's like, ah, order me some, so I'll just order a bit more than what I did. Kind of a sharing item. Versus again, when we've ordered some of our previous orders, it was very distinctly mine and or his, um, you know, just to kind of keep things based on our preferences. Got some more of these fruit rolls. We also have some more golden buns on the way and they stopped giving us sheets. So, but I guess maybe that means we got cut off. I don't know. Verbal orders only. <laughs> And they really did. They actually stopped giving us sheets at this time. Uh, that being said, I mean, we already had our dessert order in, um, which we kind of planned to be about our uh, last order, so it was fine. And I'm sure if we wanted something, they could have given it to us verbally as well. Um, but what you're missing out, because there was a little clip I can't find. I don't know if I deleted it or maybe I accidentally didn't record it, but you missed our first order of 20-some golden buns, to which you order about another 20-some, which you'll see. And then we also ordered about 40 of these fruit rolls, which you're missing out on. Um, but these golden buns you'll see, they're like little fried dough bits, uh, sweetened condensed milk, they still need cinnamon sugar, but you'll hear me reference to the ones we previously had, so this will make a little bit more sense for the explanation. Um, but yeah, so I mean, at this point we had dessert, it was fine, they didn't give us any more sheets. And like I said, I'm sure if we wanted something, we really could have asked for it. More golden buns. Still need some cinnamon sugar. So, as now you can understand my comment as to why I was saying it still needs cinnamon sugar. Again, I don't know where that, I must have, I don't know if I deleted the clip or I just accidentally didn't record it, but anyway, yeah, so these little fried dough pockets, um, which is, I don't know how to explain this, but you can tell like some of the other, some other things were in the fryers, is it still kind of tasted. I don't know, it tasted like it came from a sushi restaurant or maybe a Pan-Asian restaurant, but it was good. Fried dough in sweetened condensed milk. How can you complain? A little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory, except I will say it still needed cinnamon sugar. Oh, it would be just like a churro then. And if you guys know me, I love churros. I love funnel cake fries. I love all kinds of fried dough. I love donuts. I love, oh, so good. So, so, so good. Again, I love just dessert and sweet things in general. So although Scott ate these, these were definitely my motivation. I was like, I want this, man. And uh, they were good. So pretty much that encapsulate the vast majority of our experience here. I did miss, as I mentioned, I don't know if I deleted or I just didn't record it, what I would call our dessert order. So probably it was another uh, tray of these golden buns. It was probably about 50 um, fruit rolls. And maybe a few other items, but most you got to see the majority of it. So overall, Zen Sushi in Edmonton, Alberta, I would recommend. Really, really nice staff. The food was also good. I very much enjoyed it all. So would definitely recommend checking this place out. Our lunchtime visit here cost us $24 a person. So, you know, it wasn't too, too bad. We definitely got our money's worth. Scott figured we ate 12 pounds each and a total of over 400 pieces.